When people walk into a Chero to dine, the first thing they're gonna notice about the menu is it's a dining menu. If you traveled to Tuscany and you ate around the countryside for a week and you came back to the States and you ate here, you'd say, aha, that's what I remember. It's all about balance. You can't be over using one ingredient over another or the whole dish goes to pot. We make all of our pastas in-house, make our bread in-house, make our pastries in-house. We do our best to use as many local ingredients as possible. In Italy, cooking is all about the season. Uh, you rarely find anything that is out of the season. That's definitely what we try to do here. So this is our porchetta. All right, so this is just the braising liquid. There's a little bit of onion in there as well. We're always trying to strive to make the perfect porchetta. Pound it out, rub it with herbs and spices, truss it, and then slow cook it for hours and hours until it's really, really tender. It has kind of a pinwheel effect. Um, and then serve that with a shaved fennel salad uh, with also some sprouts and then just a little bit of salsa verde. A little lemon makes everything pop. And that is our porchetta. Our rainbow trout has roasted mushrooms, a red wine and butter sauce, and then also a corn custard. Want it to have that nice crisp skin. I call it fish bacon. Everybody likes fish bacon. Even the people that don't like, like skin on trout, all of a sudden they'll get a little bit of the skin and then all of a sudden they eat all the skin. And they're like, okay, I'm converted. Uh, so this is our corn custard. And then our mushrooms. And then this is our red wine sauce. Voila. So now we will make our mushroom pasta. We will start by a hot pan with some butter and then mushrooms and then I will add a little bit of the shallot and then I will let those cook and then I will add a little bit of stock and then a couple of knobs of butter, then some flat leaf Italian parsley and then toss everything together with Parmesan cheese. See how that's kind of emulsified and nice and creamy? That's the goal. And then it's getting the right amount of sauce with the noodles so that it sticks and it's happy. Because we are cooking authentic Italian food, using our local ingredients, we built a wine list around true Italian wine. Usually eclectic, it's unique. A lot of people might not be familiar with a lot of the wines. You'll quickly find that the wine here is perfect match for the food. I think that we're very, very consistent. Um, everyone that we work with here is very passionate about what we do, about moving a chair forward, about hospitality, about making sure that we welcome everyone into our front doors um, with an open arm, open heart, and really want them to feel like they are a part of our family.